Okay, in this video I'm going to show you some of the steps that I take for building buildings and other models and the important points of this are that it helps build really well formed models and let's see like this, like in this case here's just a cube structure that I extruded out to the side a couple times and then I have this bevel modifier that I'm about to apply to it but let's get rid of it for a second, let's just take a look at it in here, if I go into edit mode this will tell me the object parameters so I have 38 faces associated with this object already for building a building but you can see the edges are kind of really hard and if you render that as a building it would look kind of rough which just, just doesn't work that well so if I wanted to continue and add more to it really the way I do it is I just keep building here in advance and I would build my basic structure like this how I want my building to look and then I would go in and apply the modifier but let's take a look first we have now 42 faces, so I'm counting polygons all the time because I'm thinking of the game engine at all times. But if I apply the bevel modifier in its basic form, suddenly I'm up to let's apply it. In fact, I don't need quite that much of a bevel. Well, we'll leave it like that for a second, but let's apply it. Yo, okay. Applied. I go back in. Let's see. Suddenly I'm at. 170 faces, so quadrupled the number of faces in the scene. Now, of course, it does look a lot nicer here. This is going to render a lot nicer. The, the bevel edge is a little bit much for building, but that serves the point. Anyway, but also, if I go, let's control Z that back to this here. All right, so now in this, this case, what I'll do is I'll show you how else I use this. I'll go in here and grab the bevel modifier, but instead of using the default, Maybe I want to make cool curved surfaces, so I'm going to crank this thing way up, which I've done like that. And it's like, oh, well, that's pretty interesting. So I'll apply that, and I'll take a look at it, and you can see it's got all these nice formed edges, you know, so you can have nice face loops. Here I'm in face select mode, so if I hold down the Alt key, I can select this way, or I can select that way, you, just by clicking on those different edges here you can select different directions like this okay and then I'll just go up and get another modifier I'll go grab the subdivision surface modifier and maybe I'm just gonna change this a couple of times like that and I'll apply that now let's go look at this thing and you can see how nice this these surfaces really become in fact even at these points where they turn the corners you have all the quads coming together at nice points so everything's really well formed in here so you can see it grab Oops, I grab. Oops, I was holding down the start key. That's not going to do it. So I just grab these any direction across the whole surface. So it really gives you really cool surfaces. In fact, the reason I do this this morning, in fact, I'm going to build uh, an anchor for the boats that I've been working on and some uh, hooks on the boats. What are those hooks called? I forget. You know, to tie the boat up to the dock. And this is, a, this is exactly the approach I'm going to use because otherwise sometimes you have to you know you can use the approach where you're extruding and you're using proportional editing and that works but this approach is pretty powerful if you just form the basic shape with some simple block structures and then use the bevel modifier and then the subdivision surface modifier alright so you might give it a whirl see what you think okay well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next lesson